Hi, it's Ren. Welcome to A Ren's Tale. Today I'm bringing you the Cosmo Beings Tarot Deck by Joanna Nelson. Let's dive in. If you're familiar with the Monstero Tarot, then you're familiar with the creator behind the Cosmo Beings Tarot Deck. Cosmo Beings is just as cute, whimsical, and quirky as the Monstero. Let's dive into these cards. First, let's take a look at the box. It comes in a hard shell, magnetic closure box. The back of the box shows examples of the cards inside. And here's the side. Inside, we have a guidebook written by Trish Sullivan, who writes all of Joanna's guidebooks. And the cards. Here's the inside of the box. Very cosmic. Nicely designed. Let's put this aside. And let's take a look at the card backs. Bring you in a little closer. They're beautifully illustrated. The whole deck has a limited color palette of black, white, shades of gray, and red. And before we look at the cards, I wanna show you the size of this deck because it is a generous deck. It measures in at three and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And this is compared to the standard plaid back Rider Waite Smith deck. You can see overall it is quite a bit larger on both dimensions. Let's look at the cards and the guidebook. Here's your guidebook. And inside we have our title page, the introduction, a little bit about the major arcana and the minor arcana. And because this is a cosmic deck, there are a lot of astrological symbols within these cards. And this explains more about that. And the major arcana has a planet association along with traits. And then the minor arcana it explains a little bit more about those, some elements, some astrological signs that are associated with each suit. We have information about a single card draw, three card draws, the star navigation spread, and the Cosmo spread. The rest of the book is information on each card. One page contains info on two cards, and each card gives you keywords, an artist statement, and the card meaning. We'll go more into the book later on. After we've flipped through the cards, we'll do a few pulls, and I'll read to you what the book says. It's a beautifully written book. All her books are. Let's take a look at the cards. Now there is an extra card called the meditation card. And in the guidebook, she says, so let me flip to that page for you. It says, Cosmo Beings Tarot follows the same 78 card format of a standard card deck with one change, an extra card for you. Meditation is a card you can include within your deck for readings or take out before you shuffle so that you can clarify your intentions before you begin to read the cards. How you choose to incorporate the meditation card is up to you. I love this card. Let's take a look at it. I love the third eye on top. I love the meditation pose sitting on the cloud. It's a fun extra card. Okay. 
And let's start with The Fool. Again, this is a limited color palette with the only addition of color being red and it suits this deck perfectly. Here's the Fool card. Love the little dog here. And we have the Rider Waite Smith symbolism with the white flower going on a journey. Love the little butterfly accompanying our Cosmo being. And we have the magician with a little candle on his head. All our traditional symbolism. I'll get a little bit closer for you. It's a very happy magician. Our beautiful high priestess standing on a red crescent moon. We have both towers in the background. We have our Empress with our little baby Cosmo being inside. I love the pomegranate she's holding. It's a very earthy card. Our Emperor. Love the expression on his face. Love that he's holding a little red planet. Here's our Hierophant. He has some mice with him and a bat and some more bats up here. Our sweet lovers card. If you look down here, you will see little ladybugs falling in love and the flowers here are actually hearts. Here's our chariot. Love how he's going over this rainbow. Our justice card. Now you'll notice that in this deck, the majors are not numbered. So you can put your justice and your strength card in either the eighth position or the 11th position. The artist chose to put it in the eighth position for justice, but you can do whatever you want. That's the beauty of cards not being numbered. Here's our justice card. Just a little splash of color is all these cards need. Here's our hermit with the red flame and the lantern. I love the eyes and the backgrounds on some of these cards. Here's our wheel of fortune. you see all the little Cosmo beings in the card? This is a fun strength card. This reminds me of when I have to give my dog his medication. <laughs> it's like open wide. <laughs> I love the little lemnus gate on top. And the red mane. The artwork is so fun on this deck. Here we have the hanging being. Everyone's upside down. We have the two extra eyes down here. Definitely giving you a different perspective on things. Here's our death card and I love that it's a happy death card showing you that change is not always negative. I love the moth that's up here. And we have our traditional flower. 
And our flowers down here are little skulls. Here's our temperance card. Another happy card. I love the expressions on this deck. It's very light. It's not a heavy deck, it's a fun deck. This is a deck that makes you smile every time you use it. Here's our devil card. This is such a fun devil card. We have two beings on either side. I love his little wings in the background. <laughs> the tower card with our red lightning bolt. And you know, even though there's destruction on this card, these little Cosmo beings have wings. They can fly away from it. They can come out the other side unscathed. Here's our star card with our big red star in the background. A little bird watching over. Here's our moon card with a red crab coming out of the water. I like that we have multiple moons here, but it also comes across as an eye watching over us. Here's the sun with a cute red kite. Very happy sun card. I like that the card, the card, I like that the kite is in red versus the sun. It's a very joyful card. Here we have judgment. We have a few Saturns in the background. And the world. The last card in the Major Arcana. And you will see there are some zodiac signs in this card. Love the little red sash. And now we're going into the Minor Arcana. Starting with the Suit of Cups. Here we have the Ace of Cups with our red lotus down below. Our sweet two of cups. I love how their hair entwines, becomes snakes and then it turns into a heart. We have the Three of Cups. Definitely a little party going on here. Cute little community card. The grapes are in red. Everyone's happy. I'm doing a little jig. The Four of Cups. This Cosmo being's just not having it today. The Five of Cups, focused on the three cups that are overturned versus the two that are upright behind him. I say him, but this is a very gender neutral deck. These little Cosmo beings can be whatever you want them to be. Here's our nostalgic Six of Cups. I think the little, the little hoodie, the little hoodie helmet is so adorable. The Seven of Cups. 
zoom in on the little choices that are looming over our Cosmo being's head so you can see them better. Here's our Eight of Cups. Definitely walking away. Here's a journey ahead. Our Nine of Cups. Beautifully illustrated peacock on the side. Our Ten of Cups. Nice family card. We even have the stars together and the ladybugs together. The house in red. I love that the rainbow is in black and white and shades of gray. Now the backs of these cards are not a super white. They're more of a creamy white. Um, you know, let me show you in comparison to the guidebook. I don't know if that shows up on camera. Actually, this page is probably better. So the guidebook is more of a pure white and the cards are more of a creamy white, slightly off-white. It gives the cards a softness to them. Here is the page of cups. I love that it's a happy little red whale coming out of the cup. And if you hear snoring in the background, that is my dog beside me. Here is our Knight of Cups. Riding off on a fish in the sky. Our Queen of Cups. I love how the octopus is on the beach. Love the red chalice, her little crown. Fish coming out. Our King of Cups. He has the red fish around his neck. We have a paper boat sailing in the background. And then we move on to our suit of swords. Here's the Ace of Swords. I love these star Cosmo beings floating around. Our Two of Swords, she has some choices to make. With the red blindfold. Our Three of Swords. Our Four of Swords with our red snail down below. It's definitely a card of rest, time to retreat for a little bit. Our Five of Swords. Here's our Six of Swords. Our Seven of Swords, I love that. This Cosmo being has one red boot and one white boot. Sneaking off, happily sneaking off, I might add. Our Eight of Swords with the red ties that bind. Our Nine of Swords with the red blanket. I like how these swords, they reduce in size, size as they go up towards the, the cosmic atmosphere, which is actually an eye.
the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is always a difficult card, but there's always positivity on the other side of it. Here's our Page of Swords with the red feather. Our Knight of Swords. Love the red horn here. I love how Joanna illustrated the, the ribs and the internal Cosmo beings. Each one is different. Here's our Queen of Swords with a red butterfly. Again, if you look at the inside of each Cosmo being, you'll see how different they all are. Even in the hair, there's a butterfly. And inside the body, each card has so much detail. Every time you look at them, you'll notice something different. Here's the King of Swords. I love how the trees aren't just upright trees. There's actually some movement to them. And now we're moving on to the suit of wands with our ace of wands. Red castle in the background. Our two of wands holding the red planet. Looking out over the sea of a galaxy here. Three of wands with the red paper boat. Our Four of Wands. Happy Celebration card. Our Five of Wands. Each little Cosmo being holding their own The Six of Wands. I love that this Cosmo being is riding a little Cosmo pig. The Laurel Wreath is in red. I love the extra little critters, little mouse, little star being. Our very defensive Seven of Wands. Holding the red wand. Here we have movement in our eight of wands. Our nine of wands, which always reminds me of Bruce Springsteen when I see this card. <laughs> I think it's a red bandana but I always got that Bruce Springsteen vibe. I love this card. Our burdened 10 of wands. It's a lot to carry, but this little Cosmo being's doing it. The Page of Wands. And let's look inside our Cosmo Being. Let's see if that'll focus for you. <laughs> I love those little additions. Here's our Knight of Wands.
riding our little gecko. Our queen of wands with the red sunflower. I like that the cat has a little heart inside. And there's little flowers inside our Cosmo Bean. Our King of Wands. I like that we have Leo going in the background here. And we are on our final suit, Pentacles. This is the Ace of Pentacles, beautifully illustrated. I love how this was done. Here's our Two of Pentacles. Lots of balance going on here. Equanimity. Three of Pentacles. I like that up here, our little galaxy is like a honeycomb for these little bee Cosmo beings. Our Four of Pentacles. You've got some pentacles entwined in the hair holding on to the central pentacle. Our five of pentacles. Our giving and receiving six of pentacles. I like that the scales here are stars and the pentacles raining down are in red. Our seven of pentacles with the red rake. Our Eight of Pentacles. Mastery with the Red Hammer. Our Nine of Pentacles. Love the addition of the little red bird. I think that's perfect for this card. So much growth and abundance here. Our Ten of Pentacles, love the addition of the extra little creatures, lots of happiness. I love that this is an older Cosmo being. Inside he has a little heart. Here is our Page of Pentacles. Our Knight of Pentacles. I loved that our winged Cosmo being is holding a big red egg. I love the little helmet on this one. It reminds me of the, what is it? Marvin the Martian on the Bugs Bunny show. I think that was the Martian's name. Was it Marvin? You'll have to let me know in the comments down below. The Queen of Pentacles. I adore this red bunny.
and our King of Pentacles. And we have Taurus in the background. This is such a fun deck. Before we go through the guidebook, I want to show you something. If you have Joanna's other decks, I want to show you some pairings. This is the Monstero deck next to Cosmo Beings. So if you wanted to work with two decks together, you very easily can. They pair beautifully. And if you have, let's just put these aside for a second. If you have her little bug oracle, I want you to see how well that pairs with this deck. I will put all the links down below for not only the Cosmo Beings deck, but all the other decks I'm showing you that pair well with this deck. If you do purchase this deck or any of Joanna's decks, make sure you only purchase it from her Etsy shop. If you purchase it any place else, it is a counterfeit deck. I'll link her Instagram, her Etsy shop, as well as the individual decks. This is her Catland Oracle deck. Actually, this one is, this is the Catland deck. She also has the Return to Catland deck. But I just wanna show you how well you can mix and match her decks. And because it's the same artist, just they pair perfectly together. So don't hesitate mixing decks, whether it's Oracle decks or two tarot decks together. Really, the combinations are endless. Okay, let me show you how I shuffle a deck this large because it is a larger deck. Um, I don't think I told you that these cards are a 350 GSM, so they are a pretty substantial card. They have some heft to them. So there's a few different ways I like to shuffle a deck this large. You can do a side shuffle, which is really a chunky shuffle, because you get more of a chunky shuffle like this. You can do a hand over hand, whoops, that's a jumper. You can do a hand over hand shuffle very easily. These cards have a smooth matte finish, so shuffling is a breeze. And since a riffle shuffle is probably a bit too much for most people's hands, you can do a dealer shuffle. Hopefully these won't slide. They're sliding a little bit on this table. This isn't the best table to do this on. But you can do a dealer shuffle and you see how well they come together there. Let me read, pull a few cards and I'll read a little bit from the guidebook. Okay, let's pull the first card and we have the Four of Swords. Let's look that up. Okay, the Four of Swords, we have three keywords, an artist statement and the card meaning. I'm just gonna pull this aside so I can read it easier for you while you look at the card. Our keywords are rest, reflection, and self-care. 
The artist's statement is, a friendly snail companion reminds the Cosmo being to slow down and rest. They take a seat and a moment to close their eyes and recharge. It's good to take time to recuperate in order to be the best Cosmo warrior we can be. Love that. The card meaning. Taking care of yourself, especially during the busiest, toughest times of our lives, is essential. It's not selfish or avoidance to recuperate. It is preparation. Relaxation and rest will recharge you, give you the strength, enthusiasm, and capacity to continue fighting for what is important. Even when you want to keep going, even when you feel like you should push through your exhaustion, make the time and space for yourself to stop and be still. Make yourself a priority. Love the artist statement. Love the card meanings. These are perfect. Let's look at the next card. Okay, we have the five of swords. I didn't shuffle all that well. Let's just do a bigger chunk here. Oh, the devil. Let's do the devil. So we're just in something a little different than swords. Let's see, our devil card. So again, you have artist statement, card meaning, and three keywords. And our keywords are obsession, temptation, and self-destruction. The artist statement says, Lost in almost a bubble-like flame, the two beings are under the illusion that they are trapped in the devil's grasp. But the truth is, they have the ability to pop those flames and escape at their own will. Our card meaning, there are so many temptations on offer, short-term pleasures to distract and console you when the going gets tough. But will they actually help? Or will you end up ignoring the long-term consequence of your actions, getting trapped in a quagmire of obsession? Self-indulgence is good from time to time, but moderation and motivation are important. Consider if this is an easy fix. If so, but take real solid action toward a better life instead of doing something that makes you feel worse. These are fun descriptions and artist statements. I love this deck. Absolutely love this deck. And if you love this deck, I have some extras to show you that you can pick up in Joanna's Etsy shop. If you love the artwork, she also carries bookmarks of the Cosmo Beings deck, along with bookmarks of her other decks. This is from the Little Bug Oracle, which the Little Bugs also appear in the Monstero decks. She also has little postcard size prints that you can pick up as well as original artwork as well. These are from the Catland Oracles. Here's Cosmo Being. This is the meditation card. And this is from the Little Bug deck. She also carries, if you are into stickers, she has little stickers of some of her characters. And she has some amazing bags. These are the six inch zipper bags. This is of the Catland Oracle. Here's another one. These are a really thick canvas. These are super high quality. Zippers on top. She also has, if you're into little buttons, she also has those available, as well as, now I'm going to insert a photo here because I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole bag on camera. This is a massive tote bag. I will, this is of the Catland deck. Again, I'll insert a photo here so you can see it. This bag is beautiful. It's in that same thick canvas material and it has a nice handle and there's even a zipper compartment inside. 
So I'll insert that for you if you would like to pick that up from Joanna's Etsy. And she also carries scarves, which let me, I'll insert a photo of those. They are 35 by 35 inches. And they are a lovely satin material. Material You can use them for a scarf or a reading cloth or even a tablecloth. They're a generous size. This is the material. Here is just a little bit of the artwork. These are from her Catland decks. Here is the other one in gray. They're just such beautifully made scarves. I love the artwork on these. And these are all available in her Etsy shop. And if you love her artwork, she has a Lenormand deck coming to Kickstarter this month. This video is in April, 2023. So her Lenormand deck will be a Little Monsters Lenormand. So they will be the characters from her Monstero deck. And you can follow the progress of that on her Instagram page. I will insert some pictures of the Lenormand deck for you to see. So if you're interested in the Monstero deck and who doesn't love the Monstero deck, I'm telling you, you need to jump on that little monster's Lenormand because from what I have seen of it, it is too cute for words and it will pair perfectly with your Monstero Tarot. Thank you for joining me today as we went over the Cosmo Beings Tarot deck. I love this deck and I hope you would love it as much as I do. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. Until next time. Bye-bye.